Hello. Alrighty, I'm making a last minute gift for Christmas and I'm doing Tic Tacs. I'm making covers for them. So two and three quarters is the width that goes around them. And because that leaves you just enough to, to go from the top, from the very bottom up to the top and allows you to grab onto this. Okay, and they are, let's see, five and a quarter inches long. And that's, again, just enough to wrap around too. Alrighty, so, and as you can see, I cut circles out. Um, how I did that was I just folded it in half, pinched the bottom, just the bottom portion, <clears throat> and I used a punch. And I went right above about a quarter of an inch and cut a hole. So I've done that for all three, so that way you can see the snowman belly <laughs> after we glue this on, okay? And then I got, so this, this punch here is one inch, and the one that I'm using for the head is three quarters of an inch. So I just, and I just clipped these out of cardboard. So, and I'm just gonna glue those on for the little head, and it'll just be a two-parter snowman. But that's okay, that'll work, just perfect. Alrighty, so now we've gotta glue these on and then decorate the snowman. So, let's get started here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm thinking maybe I wanna do my tacky glue on this. Oh, let's see. And I wanna, I wanna glue around the very top and the bottom. Do I wanna do this or do I wanna use, wait a second, maybe I should use I'll use my double stick tape because that way it'll just stay on as soon as I put it on it'll be done that'll be better especially since I don't want to wait around for it because today is Christmas Eve and the children are and we adults are all going over to Aunt Sally's to celebrate so and that's always much Fun. We always have dinner with Aunt Sally at her place for Christmas Eve. And then tomorrow morning, then we gather at my older daughter's house. And we have Christmas with the kids together. And we spend the day over there, which is always fun. I love going over there. Alrighty, so that's done. Alrighty, and I am going to put a piece. I'm going to kind of square this off around the circle just to make sure that, that stays on there. Good. All right. There, okay. Now we can undo these, take these off. It's not, these are always fun to make for like coworkers. When I used to work then, um, out of the home, then I would make things like this to give to my co-workers every year. And it was always a fun thing because that's something that we all use at work. You know, when you're working, you're always either chewing gum or sucking on mints or something because we're close to each other and we don't want to have stinky breath. And that's always better to be safe than sorry, you know? All right, so now, and there is tape on the bottom, so I, all I have to do is just line this up. If I line it up on the bottom, then it should go right to the top where it's supposed to go, which is perfect. Alrighty. And then I'm going to take my snips because it, it does go down a little bit. So what I like to do is just go ahead and snip it here on the corner. And then snip it one, two, three more times. One, two, three more times. Because that way, that will help us to be able to make it smaller on the bottom. All right, so I've got my sticky glue on that side, so or sticky tape rather. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the top down first and leave this alone for now. And then I'm going to pull this up and around and glue this down and line those edges up and then press that down. All right, so now I can take my... thingy here and slide it under and go ahead and press that down so that way it's all stuck together so now you can see it fits perfect around here and it's all glued down nice 
and it is a wee bit bigger on the, I mean, smaller on the bottom. So now I can take this and fold that. I can take this and I can press that in. And now I've got the excess on either side. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and press down one of these little flaps at a time. So press that one down. And then press this one down. And you can kind of cross them over so that way they'll fold up the paper just a wee bit. It'll buckle just a little bit. Alrighty, so again, we wanna cross these over, press that down, and press that down, and buckle them over, and then press that down. Okay, very good. Ta-da! So this one is done. We'll crease those corners really good. That one's done, and then we can just glue that head on. <laughs> it's so cute. And actually, I think I'm going to use my glue gun for, for decorating this. I'll turn that back on. All right. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and put this one on. So we need this. All righty. We need the top. And I'm still in my PJs. So you can see my pretty polka dot peaches for the whole world to see. <laughs> I got up, ran downstairs, made a cup of tea, grabbed a granola bar and a banana, ate those real quick, and came up here to work on this. And this and my shells. I finished my shells this morning too. So, there's always something last minute. I don't know why, but I just, I kind of like that. But because it's, but only because it's not something that has to be done. So it's because they're, they're extra little things and it's just fun. And it gives my hands and my mind something to do until it's time to do the other stuff. Yep. And I like that. All right, take these ones off and these ones off. Oh, my cats have been loving my heated lap blanket that I have in the living room. Every time I go sit down, then one of them comes up and they, they're funny because they, they will not share. They don't like to lay there together, but they will take turns and, uh, and lay on my lap. Bacon will come up when he's ready and he'll lay down. He'll come up and push his brother off or just his presence will make his brother want to want to get up because <laughs> his brother doesn't doesn't want to share. He's like, I want 100% of you or nothing. Oh, silly cats. All right, there. I'm doing this one a little bit different. I'm going ahead and doing this and then I'm going to sneak in and do the corner middle, the corner, that middle, the corner, and the corner. There, now I can do that. Dun, 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 dun. There, okay. Oops, and I squished that one down already. <laughs> over good that's better okay all right so now we've got a snowman belly exposed on that one yay okay and then we can go ahead and put this on And the paper that I'm using, this gold wrap, is actually a gift bag that I purposely bought last year, leftovers. And uh, 
cut them apart so that I could use this, almost said fabric, use this paper. I love looking for these iridescent papers and they come out perfect timing every year at Christmas time. So, and it's fun to use the bag once and then say, okay, and everybody knows, give them back. Give me, give me those bags. All right. Last but not least, put this one on. Perfect. And the main thing is trying, making sure you get it lined up on the top so it's not crooked. Because you don't want it to be crooked up on the top. There. So you want to line it up going all the way across. Making sure they touch at the top so that way you have a nice even seam. All right. Oops, do it that way. It's easier. Come on, Barbara. Barbara. You can do this. There. Ta da! Alrighty. Almost laid it down again. Gotta lay it down and then fold it up a little. There. Alright, then I can lay this one down. Alrighty, very good. And increase those seams. And it does buckle a little bit on the bottom sides here, but that's okay. You've got two little buckles. But that doesn't hurt anything. Alright, those look so cute. I love them. Alright, so now we've just got to glue the heads on. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that on there. And there we go. And put this one on. There we go. And that goes on so quick because of the glue gun. And I just touched my fingers to that nozzle and it did not burn me. My other ones, I would have gotten a blister. But that did not burn me. I was able to actually touch that. Wow, I'm really impressed. I really do like this glue gun. Alrighty, and I do have a video on the glue gun. All right, that looks so cute. Okay, so now we need the eyes. And you know what I'm gonna do for the eyes. Pull these out and we need some little black dots for the eyes and I guess we can turn that off now and let's see I need my whole my little bitty pull punch is this the regular one or the nope this is the big one this is the one I need the smaller one because these ones are the bigger hole punch so I need two eyes for each one <coughs> Right there, right in front of me. <laughs> All right. Oh, here. Lay these on first to make sure. Because they are going to be some pretty big eyes. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> All righty. But that's okay. We're going to do this. All right. So we want two dots. One, two. So then we can put the eyes on two big old eyes. That's so fun. Alrighty. And one, two. And one, two. It's like making my own little snowman indoors. Yep. I can smell my hubby's cooking up his lunch. He got us a rotisserie chicken on the way home from work yesterday. Yes, okay. So it was funny. I just wanted a chicken sandwich last night, so that's what I had for dinner. And uh, he decided to make a, a roll-up, a wrap, and he cooked up corn and dumped corn in the wrap and then threw some chicken in there and a little bit of cheese and warmed that all up. I thought that sounded a little different with the corn in there, but he said it was good. But he loves corn, 
So I don't love corn. I think it's cattle feed. <laughs> All righty. And I know there's more than just corn as cattle feed, but I don't know. That's just not one of my favorite. I like the greens. All right, that is adorable. Now we need a little piece of orange. So let's look in my orange and blue. Oh, here's some orange right here. Okay. Yep. So we can make little noses. <clears throat> we need three noses. Let's see about that big, I guess. And I'm just going to cut off little skinny triangles. And those are going to be my noses. Alrighty. Then we can do a dot here. Right in between the two eyes. And we can put the nose right there. And pick up my grubber. And put that nose on there. <laughs> That's so funny. Stick that in there. And, whoops. Put that one in there. Whoops, get over. Scooch on over. There we go. All right. Now we need the little dots for the for the mouth. And for that, we just need some more black. A piece of black, which I've got. And I know I've got smaller pieces of black in here. So let me get a smaller one. That'll work. Okay. I'd rather use a different type of paper. Oh, here. Okay, that's better. Because this is construction paper. So, okay. Alrighty, so I need maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, let's see how that does. That should give us enough. <laughs> All right, and I'll have to use this glue so I can do those little tiny, tiny, tiny dots. Alrighty. One, two, three. There, there's five on there. And then we can put these on. <laughs> these are so silly. Come on, get back over there. Oh gosh, I'm going to goop it all up, huh? Alright, I need to clean that glue off of there. better. That's cute. <laughs> All right, and then we just need a hat. So that came out perfect. Get over here, little black dot. Oh, what is that? There's an old song, little black things, little black things running up and down my arms. Little black things, little black things. Hope one day to hope to have a black thing farm. Have you ever heard that or something to the that effect where did I hear that I'm trying to think oh I think I remember and I still have those I have to pull it out um, I when the kids were little when the grandkids were real little then I used to buy them for different holidays, the books on on DVDs. And Cindy Lauper was my favorite one because she did the, the wheels on the bus and just reading it to the kids. Oh, I loved it. It was so fun. She's an awesome reader. But uh, but yeah, they took they took all these children's books, all the popular ones that we most people get for their children and had different people reading them and singing along with them and they made them into videos and I still have a set of those which reminds me I should probably take those with me today to Aunt Sally so that she can have them for her little Carter because little Carter's what three or four now so those came out really cute. Look at that. All right, that fit. Oh, yes, that'll fit perfect for a top hat. Alrighty, so we just need a little square. 
one, two, three, just a little square for the top hat. And then we need the top hat band that goes over the forehead. Look at that. That's so cute. Okay, so then we just need a little skinny band. Um, but they need to be longer than that, so about this long, I believe. Yep. So then we can cut this in thirds. Ta-da! Alrighty, so let's glue that on. Alrighty, so I think this glue will be the best for this because we want to put a little dollop of glue on here like that. And glue that little piece of paper on there. Because you want that, that band to be a little bit wider. So look what, the, what I have so far. <laughs> and the hat, I did the bottom band. is just a wee bit wider. I'm pushing that over there. Then the, the top hat part. There you go. And then this can go right on there. We can cross that up and over his forehead. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so let's do that. And where are the other ones? Right there. Whoops. Alright. We've got glue gooping out. Alrighty, that's okay. We can use this gloopy glue. And put that on here. Perfect. Whoops, don't step on that, baby. Hi. You coming back upstairs? Huh? I know you just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody, huh? No, you just want to come up here and shake your tail on Mommy's face? <laughs> yep, that's it. Honest Abe. That's you. Honest Abe. Weaving his tail at you guys. Alrighty. There, that one can go on. Yes, I know, baby. I love you, too. Alrighty, and I need a little bit more glue down here. There. And... <laughs> You're smacking me in the, in the eye with your tail. You are silly. Yes, you are. You're just a silly boy. And I can get the rest of that glue. Whoop. I know. I love you too. Yes, I do. All right. Then a little bit more glue on the back. And we can glue this baby down. Ta-da. That is adorable. All right. Now check these out. <laughs> Those are cute. What do you think? Aren't they fun? For a little shaker. Isn't that cute? And see, he's using his tail and going, there you go, like Vanna White. <laughs> Alrighty, so another little quickie Christmas idea. So I hope you like this idea. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.